everybody. Thanks for joining us on today's video, man. This is, this is a rare car. You say, well, Tone, uh, how could you possibly know that that's a rare car? Well, I'm gonna tell you how I know this. First off, uh, they didn't build many of these, right? How many are left? First, and then second, throw in the fact that it's flame orange convertible, matching numbers engine, right? All of the like original smog equipment and all the options that are on this car uh, make it even more rare. And then throw in, it has great, great paint on it. The paint is super shiny, especially under these LED lights. And we have what we call, I feel, like a cool car you could drive to work on a Friday, right? Tell whoever it is that you're on the way home, turn off the phone, man. Cut off the tweet, cut off the text, cut off the Facebook post, cut off email, uh, text messaging, cut off all that digital stuff you got going on in your life, because we all have it, right? And get in this car and go for a drive, man. It'll change your life. All right, so I'd like to talk about paint quality. You know, uh, this is an original 70 coated flame orange car, right? This is a rare car. There was not a lot of these cars, which is why I love this so much, but it has great paint too. It's under these harsh LED lights and I like to show off this kind of stuff. When I hold this up here, it's not that you can see that there's letters in there, but you need to be able to see the letters that are crisp. The crisper the letter, the better the paint is. Orange peely cars, right? You guys have all heard of orange peel cars, are make the letters distorted and cars that are done properly, wet sanded and buffed, and a great paint job make for it super clear. Check that out. But most of the people, if I took all the emblems off and things like that, they might not know the difference between a GTO, a Grand Sport, and a Chevelle, even though they're the same body style. However, a Corvette, there is no mistaking a Corvette. If I was to remove these letters from the back of the car, everyone in the world knows that this is a Corvette. It just has a style, right? They call it the Mako shark style with the big hips around here, the Coke bottle shape as you look down the body. The back of the car is great. This has a beautiful undercarriage. You should see the pictures of it if you haven't already. And secondly, the exhaust is all new, so it's all nice and shiny. And this tail right here is actually a later tail model that's been added to the car. This car would have had a flat tail on the back. I think it looks really good. If you don't love it, it's an easy fix. All of this parts here transfer over to the flat tail and you can just put the, the flat tail back on. Um, obviously the top is inside here and it's hidden under this nice tonneau cover, easy to get to, right? And all hidden back there, some nice venting, but all new emblems, decals, stickers, uh, and the polyglass tires all around, uh, just really add a nice touch to it. All right, so come join me in here and I want you to hear that annoying noise. Why do I want you to hear that? Well, because that annoying noise is the level of restoration that you get that's the key and buzzer. The key and buzzer is annoying. And most people, you know, when it broke two or three years into owning the car, they didn't really care about all that. But when you restore a car and you want things to work, or in this case here, this car is very authentic, right? This has probably just been painted and had some uh, small upgrades along the way because it's very, very original. All the stuff's kind of still in it. However, it's also loaded with equipment. For instance, it has tilt wheel. It has telescopic steering wheel, right? It has power windows. It has original AM FM stereo in it, right? These are all the things that you could get uh, as an extra cost option. If you wanted to add air conditioning to this car, we can do that for you, right? Some people want it, but with a convertible, some people don't care. Anyway, you got a 7,000 RPM TAC, 160 mile an hour speedometer, and a full array of gauges in here, and a really, really comfortable interior, especially when you can throw some soft luggage in the back and go away for the weekend. All right, so we close up the video. Let's talk about this for a second. This is one of 3,030 of these cars built. Let's say there's half left, right? Because it's 40 plus years later. Half are left. So there's 1,500 of them. They built 38,000, almost 40,000 Corvettes that year. The likelihood of you seeing another flame orange convertible at a car show is so small and so minimal uh, that that's why these become more valuable over time. That's why these cars continue to go up and go up and go up. Throw in great paint, super shiny, right? Great wheel and tire selection, stock, right? This looks good stock. Interior color, nice, not, not a weird color. It's black, it's got great options like power windows and tilt wheel and uh, the telescopic and the AM FM, stuff like that. I don't know, it's just a cool car with great things and, and just you know matching numbers all through. So I rambled a lot. I just wanted to say uh, down those bullets of why I feel that sometimes some cars are worth more than others. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. If you don't mind, uh, share this video with your friends. And if you want to, subscribe to the channel so that you can uh, continue to get these hopefully good 
Good videos, right, right, right? Anyway, if you'd like the video down at the bottom, that'd be great. That helps us out a lot as well. Thanks so much. I'll see you later.